Couldn't find a better man in the stare down than Michael Clayton. <laughs> His team leads it by seven. They are 22 and two when leading after the third under Nick Saban. But an impressive Georgia drive here is David Green. That's the fifth tip today, and it's intercepted by Lyman Turner. Five tipped passes, and that is the first interception thrown by David Green this year. You know what? I don't know if this was tipped by a hand. I think this ball went off somebody's head. I think it went off of a helmet. It was Bruce Wyatt, or Bryce Wyatt, number 92. Watch his head, 92. The ball is going to hit him. No, it hits his own guy. It hits the offensive lineman blocking him, and the interception. This was not a tip pass. It went off his own guy, number 73, Bartley Miller, the guard. And what a turnover for LSU. First down at the 39-yard line. Play fake, Joseph Adai. Breaks inside the 35. The running game has not been a significant part for either team today as we get underway with the fourth quarter action. Vern Lundquist, Todd Blackledge. Let's talk about the significance of this game. It's the fourth game of the year. Well, I think Nick Saban said it the best way. He said it's a big game. Let's not kid anybody. But it's not a defining game. It's not going to define the season or whether we're contenders for the SEC championship. Quite honestly, if you look at it, Georgia's win over South Carolina was more important than if they would win today because that was an SEC East game. I mean, it's a big game because it's two good teams, and I think both head coaches can find out a lot about how good their teams are in a game like this. Flag thrown before the snap. And Rocky Good's going to let us know against whom this one is called. All sides, defense, with contact. Now, one of the real stories of this game has been when the team has had the advantage in field position, they've not capitalized. Georgia didn't capitalize in the first half, and so far, LSU hasn't capitalized. They've had good field position. They must capitalize on this possession. They're inside the 30-yard line. They've got to put points on the board. First down and 10 at the 29. Matt Mock. Two wide receivers left side. And again, we've got Devin. We're going to go backwards. Yep. And, and let me finish up that point. Why I think it's important that LSU capitalize here. And I think they need to capitalize with a touchdown. You do not want... Offense. You Five do not want, if you're LSU, first down. to be hanging around with a seven-point lead with number 14 on the field for Georgia. You don't want to give him a chance to win this game in the fourth quarter because he will, he'll do it. He'll find a way to do it. That's why you need to score here if you're LSU. This is the 30th start of David Green's career. He has posted five fourth-quarter comebacks in the uh, two-and-a-half years that he's been the starter. First and 15. Deep back behind Matt Maul. Three wideouts. Here comes the safety blitz, Thomas Davis. And a die goes right away from Davis. And gets about three. Odell Thurman, the middle linebacker, makes the tackle. David Green, Jr. Against sixth ranked Tennessee. That was the pass we alluded to in the first half to Veron Haynes. They won on the road by two. Last year, three times. Clemson. Alabama and uh, most significantly and memorably I think the 19 yard pass to Michael Johnson on fourth down yeah. at Auburn. Second down and 12. Hand off Sharon Carey. Not much there. Well as a as a freshman David Green memorably. <laughs> And George at Auburn, as Michael Johnson made the catch, and the year prior to that, Veron Haynes in the end zone got into the checkerboard at Tennessee, and they won that one 26-24. No, we were there for that Auburn game last year, and I've seen that play a thousand times, but the one thing that, that the more I see it, the more I think is what a great throw it was. It was obviously a great catch, but on fourth down, to keep that in the field of play and give Michael Johnson a chance was spectacular. Moss, screen pass, right side, Adai looks for Brian Odell Thurman, 
a brilliant defensive effort by the middle linebacker. Terrell McGill was the guard who was leading that play. McGill has been out with a bruised kidney, and this is his first game back, and Odell Thurman just beat him on the play. Now, they have a blocker out in front of a dive. There's McGill, 68, but Odell Thurman just slipped inside of him and made the play. Having kicked a 47-yarder already, Ryan Gaudet is going to go for a career long of 48. It's blocked in the line of scrimmage. And Sean Jones got the block. Mm. This is a Georgia team that last year had nine punt and field goal blocks. They had a guy named Boss Bailey then. That's right. And he was their field goal blocker. Sean Jones is going to get this one. He comes from off the ball. There wasn't a great push on the inside. It was just Sean Jones' leaping ability. And a lot of times when you try a longer field goal, the kicker doesn't get as much lift on the football. A low kick and a high jump equals a block for Georgia. And that's, that's what his background is. And he is a very much a hands-on head coach. And he's mad at Travis Daniels for giving so much cushion to Reggie Brown. That's well, anime. That's called, that's called tough love. Oh, <laughs> that's boy. It is. He what coaches a, hard now. <laughs> what a picture. Oh, I think Travis Daniels heard him. <laughs> Dead ball flag. Let's go back to New York and Tim Brando. Vern, special teams again, and Michigan may be kicking themselves at the end of the year over what they did on this kick. It's Keith Lewis blocking the punt. Now watch Keith Allen recovered in the end zone. It's now 31-21 quack attack. This could cost Michigan a shot at the national title. My, 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 my. 10-3 here. First and five. It's a step-up time now for LSU's defense. We've seen Georgia's defense step up when their backs were against the wall in this second half. Time for LSU to answer. Try the middle, don't get it. You know, sometimes you might... Somebody might turn this game on and look at the stats, see the stats at the end of three quarters, and say, oh, what an ugly game. But you know what? This has been an outstanding defensive football game. Both defenses have played outstanding. They both have, have worked their plan. They're different plans, but they both have been effective in neutralizing the opponent's offense. Second down and five, no game. This after the blocked field goal. Sean Jones, David Green for the day. 16 to 39 for 189. He had a pass intercepted. And he is sacked now. Also had a fumble in the ball game. And this is Cameron Vaughn, number 46, who gets the sack. Now, a little different look now. They went with a three down line and brought Cameron Vaughn. Here he is as a linebacker. He's going to come on the edge and get the sack. Three defensive linemen. They sneak him around the outside and he beats Cooper. Cooper tried to cut him. And Vaughn went right over him for the sack. Another big third down now for Georgia. They're 5 of 14. LSU with four sacks today. Here's Green with time. Reggie Brown tries to break the tackle and can't. And look at Saban this time. High-fiving. He's happy because he said, look, that's good defense. They need a lot of yardage. If he makes a catch, just don't let him get away. Tough love, I'm telling you. <laughs> Chew him and then love on him. And it was the same young man, yeah. Travis Daniels, who gets the encouragement this time. <laughs> oh, that's great. Nick Saban. In his fourth year as the head coach here, came from Michigan State, graduate of Kent State University. 1972, he was a baseball player as well as an outstanding defensive back. Fourth down. Short. It's a fake. Oh, boy. Still going for it. That's Joe Tarashinsky, the backup quarterback, and I do not believe he got it. And Georgia thinks he did, and he gave tremendous effort, but I don't think he got it. No. It's fourth and two. They snapped it to the up back, who is Tereshinsky. He's the 13 quarterback. Now he's about five yards off the ball, so he's got to run five yards just to get to the line of scrimmage. And the safety, Jack Hunt, was the first guy to get there. LSU was in a safe hunt defense. That means they weren't going to try to rush or do anything exotic, and they were ready 
to stop that play. Well, a blocked field goal by Georgia, then an unsuccessful fake punt. And here's the toss to Shiron Carey. Thomas Davis with the tackle. Nine minutes to go. Now, if you're, Luke, if you're Nick Saban and Jimbo Fisher, you're thinking two things here. Number one, points. We need to get more than a seven-point lead, make it a two-score game. And number two, let's work the clock, too. There's eight minutes and 45 seconds left in the ball game, so let's work the clock and let's get some more points. And let's get out of here with a win. Take a look now under Nick Saban. When they score less than 20, they have not been very successful. They're trying to reverse that today. Carry on the draw play comes right. And uh, is stopped at the 43-yard line. Bruce Thornton, number seven, made the tackle. Nick Saban. This is a short yardage play now for Nick Saban and LSU. They bring in an extra offensive lineman. Rudy Niswanger is another offensive lineman that they bring in. It's an unbalanced line to the right. Over here, you got three offensive linemen and a tight end. It's unbalanced. That's probably the way. Well, they go the other way. And Carey weaves back to the right and picks up the first down. That's good vision. You know, yep. I mean, it's not there. You make a decisive cut, and you keep going forward for the first down. You don't try to bounce it all the way outside. Find a crease and get the first down. Go back to what he said uh, earlier in the week. I'm a little guy with yep. big man tell. That's right. First and 10, 735 remaining in this one. 10 to 3. A 21 yard touchdown by Shiron Carey in the first half is the difference right now. Here's Carey again. And Sean Jones, this one might come back. Umpire threw the flag. Holding LSU. Tonight on CBS, a woman says she was assaulted three times by the same man. So why can't a top FBI profiler find him? Don't miss 48 Hours Investigates, followed by Hack and the District. It's all here tonight on CBS, America's most watched network. I think they got Wilkerson the center. He's going to block on Odell Thurman, and I think that's where the holding is going to be. Watch the center take the linebacker. He's got both hands around him. And uh, that's where the hold was. You can see the right arm right there of Wilkerson wrapped around the back of Odell Thurman. And so a good run wiped out. And again, now first and 19, a critical offensive possession for LSU. And they've got a long yardage situation. Play fake, Matt Mark under some pressure. Screen pass for the decision. Too high, and Peterman made a fine play to make sure it wasn't intercepted. Well, and we have a late flag. It was a good decision by Matt Mock because Bruce Thornton had read the screen. He was there to defend the screen, and Mock threw it away. But this was well after the play when the flag came down. Okay, this is ineligible man downfield, and they got Wilkerson again, number 55. Hmm. Now, the only problem is if it was a screen pass, which it was, you're allowed to throw a screen pass and get linemen down the field. But if the ball went across the line of scrimmage, then they can call that penalty for a lineman downfield. See, when you throw a screen, it's designed to throw behind the line of scrimmage. So you can release lineman downfield. But the ball, here's Wilkerson. He's over the line, too. But the ball is across the line of scrimmage right there. Because Mock was throwing it away, it crossed the line of scrimmage, and they were able to call illegal man downfield. Downfield. Gets the offense. Penalty fine. Second down. Can I explain that? That's a nifty explanation. <laughs> I mean, you, you normally don't see that because on a screen, right. you want your lineman down the field. But when the screen was diagnosed by Georgia, Matt Mock had to throw it away. And after the uh, decline penalty, it's second and 19. 10-3. And right now, Matt Mock has to think, okay, second and 19, let's try to get half of it here. If we can get nine or ten yards, we got a shot on third down. We don't have to get it all on this play. Michael Clayton, only two catches in the ball game. Mock, Debrie Henderson inside, works to the 40. And he didn't get it all, but he got a lot. And a great block by Peterson, the All-American guard. That was the key block, was getting Peterson out there to make the first block on the little tunnel screen. Here's Henderson. He's going to come inside. Clayton's going to block his man. Watch 72 Peterson. The one block he needed right there. 
and Henderson able to cut inside of that block and turn it into a good game. They got 10 on the play, and again, now it's a more manageable third down play at third and nine. There's Steven Peterman. Mentioned that he was a, a new father. Steven Jr., born in August. Wife Colleen. Third down and nine. Henderson in motion, low snap, Mark controls it. Rolls out, puts it up. Got it! First down at the 27. Dwayne Bow, number 81. What a hard throw for Matt Malcomet. A right-handed quarterback rolling to his right, throwing back across his body for a huge third-down conversion to a freshman receiver. <laughs> what a critical play. And a player down. It's the stellar safety, Thomas Davis. Mm. That was only the second third down conversion for LSU in the second half. Two of six, and LSU in business. 6.05 to go. Shiron Carey around the corner. How big was that second and 19 and oh. 39? Yeah, again, the point and, and what Matt Mock did was so beautiful was on second and 19, don't feel like you have to get all of it back. Get what you can. They got 10 on second down. Then they had 39. He came up with another big play. And those are two outstanding plays in a row for Matt Mock. Matt Mock, born and raised in Jasper, Indiana. His parents have moved. They live in Santa Claus, Indiana. We don't make this stuff up. Yeah. They live right across the lake from Jay Cutler's parents, who's the quarterback at Vanderbilt. Here's Carey again. And there's a third player from Santa Claus, Indiana, he reminded us. Ken Dilger, the tight end. Who would have thought that there'd be three players? Not me. Santa Claus. <laughs> I thought it was interesting, too, Matt told us. Well, once he got back into football, he says he can't watch baseball anymore. I mean, he, he likes watching baseball tonight, the quick, high, you know, fast action highlights, but he can't sit and watch a game. It's right. too slow for him now. Football, a much faster game, and much more to his liking now. Third and two. 5-14 to go. Option play. Mark keeps it. Nice. Good decision. Great cut. Uh-oh, he dropped the ball, though. He was bobbling it as he went through. Georgia thinks they've got the football. The scrum will be unraveled. Georgia ball. Oh, my. Oh my. Derek White, number 53. He made a good decision to go inside, and there's the hit by Odell Thurman, the middle linebacker, knocked the football out. And there it is, loose, and in the fight for the football, Georgia comes up with it. And yet again, the Georgia defense steps up. Four minutes, 52 seconds left. The margin is seven. Thank you, Tim. LSU defensive unit urging support from the fans and the Georgia contingent trying to equal the noise factor after the turnover first down and 10 and do they stay with that same formula of blitzing David Green they do on first down here comes Spears and he hits the ball from behind and a flag is thrown we may get a holding yeah, call it will be a holding and that was a mismatch that's the tight end Robert Brannon trying to block Marcus Spears and Spears fought his way to the quarterback. Marcus Spears, number 84, was recruited as a highly touted tight end, had played both offense and defense in high school, and there you see the hold, 84 on 84, and another tip ball. I mean, they have, they have done what they set out to do. Georgia came in averaging 30 points a game. They've got three. David Green has been in a rhythm through three games, and uh, LSU has knocked him out of that rhythm. But he is still <laughs> the most dangerous guy to be <laughs> facing in this situation. First and 18 at the seven. No blitz this time. Screen pass right side, caught by Tyson Browning. He's got some room. He's got a lot more room. He's got a downfield block. 
and he is gone. No flags. Tyson Browning, 93-yard Bulldog, touchdown. One of the few times that LSU chose not to blitz. David Green makes him pay. It's a zone defense. They rush four. They invite the rush. There's one block by Bartley Miller, a couple more blocks, and we are seeing Tyson Browning more than we ever thought, but this is why. Great out of the backfield catching the football. Extra point, Bennett up. We're tied. Damian Gary had the clearing block at midfield, and it was a doozy. 93-yard touchdown. Knocks to 10. Tyson Browning set out the first three games suspended because of infractions. 93-yard catch. A touchdown that goes into the Georgia record books. Georgia fans will never forget mm. run, Lindsey run when they beat Florida in 1980. And now Tyson Browning in the books. Wow. Just the perfect play call at the perfect time by Mark Rick. You know, LSU didn't blitz. They set up the screen. They got guys out in front, and they got one crucial touchdown block by Damian Gary at the end of the play. Now, Billy Bennett, who is kicking off this year for the first time and usually kicks off directionally. Not the strongest leg on kickoffs and tries to place the ball. Henderson is one of the two deep men. Skyler Green the other. And this will be Devery Henderson at the one. Got to run. And great speed. How about that for a counterpunch? What a response by Devery Henderson. We talked about the kicking game being one of the keys. Who wins in special teams? Another breakdown by the Georgia kicking game. They got out of their lanes to their responsibility, maybe a little complacent after the big touchdown by Browning and Henderson. Makes them pay for it. And great starting position now for Matt Mock and the LSU offense. 51 yards away. Here's the option again. Mock, Shylon carries, got a fullback in front, turns the corner, out of bounds. Nice block by Stelts, the fullback. Needed one block on the perimeter. Again, this is a very difficult defense to get outside of. But he got the block from Stelz and turned the corner. Second and two. Ryan Van Gorder, defensive coordinator. Boy, what a game. What a game. It's had a few elements to it, hasn't it? Second and two. Tied at ten. Backs in the eye for Mark. Michael Clayton, a quiet presence today. Here's the handoff to Carey, going right. Close for the first down at the 41-yard line. Now, first half dominated by Georgia offensively. They were inside the 40-yard line seven times, but came away with only three points. LSU got across the 50 just once, but they got a 21-yard touchdown by Shiron Carey. It was 7-3. A 48-yard field goal made it 10-3, and then Georgia just stunned this LSU crowd. A 93-yard screen pass. David Green to Tyson Browning for the tying touchdown, but now... LSU threatens. Third and one. Should be enough for the first down. And again, we're in the same scenario for LSU. You're thinking two things. You're thinking points and you're thinking clock. All right? Don't let David Green have much time on the clock, but make sure you score. Now, the last time it was to make it a two-score lead. This time it's just to have any lead at all. Matt Malk looks back over toward the bench. David Green... And remember, if you're thinking field goal here to make it a 13-10 lead for Ryan Gaudet, he made a 47-yarder, and he had a 48-yard attempt block. So if you're Nick Saban, you're thinking, let's get it in a little bit closer to, to make the odds better. Here's Mark, quarterback draw. Darts to his right. Sean Jones 
is there to help on the tackle with Derek White's assistance. And it's going to be second down. LSU with two timeouts left. Georgia with all three of theirs. Gaudet is a freshman from New Orleans. He's a walk-on. One for three coming into this game. And he's uh, kicked one, had one blocked in the ball game. 225. Uh, hidden down in there is yeah. the, the tiniest fellow. And I'll guarantee you, nobody's talking to him either. <laughs> I mean, the, nobody wants to say anything to throw him off. Blitz on second down. They toss it to a die. And he is roped and dropped at the 35 yard line by Thomas Davis. Third down. What, what a play by Thomas defense. I mean, this has been a knockdown, drag out defensive game. And watch the continued effort by the leading tackler on the Georgia defense, Thomas Davis. I mean, watch this guy blitz and just stay with the play and chase it down. He comes inside the block and he chases it down from the backside and trips him up. I mean, that, what a hustle play by Thomas Davis. Tenth tackle for Thomas Davis. Third and four. If they had to kick the field goal now, it would be 52 yards. Michael Clayton in motion. Mark rolls out, looks deep, fires it as he is hit. He's got Skyler Green. Oh, touchdown! LSU! Extra point from Gaudet. Michael Clayton will hold. Got it. Skyler Green, a 5'9 sophomore from West Waco, Louisiana, on the receiving end of a 34-yard touchdown toss from Matt Moss. With the kickoff. This one will be taken by Tim Jennings. Oh, boy! LaVon Landry. Burn, let's go back and look at the touchdown and remember the situation. It was third down and four. This is Michael Clayton, and he's going to run this route. Skyler Green is right here. He's going deep, okay? Now, third and four, everybody in Georgia is thinking they're going to throw it to Clayton for the first down. And Tim Jennings, who's in coverage downfield, took a peek back at the play. And when he did that, Mock threw it over his head for the touchdown. First and 10 from the 15. 116 to go. Georgia, all three timeouts. Three-man rush, they drop eight. Green deep. Got Damian Gary all the way out to the 39-yard line. 24-yard gain. First down, 107 to go. Now one thing that Nick Saban and his staff have to be thinking about is remember Little Rock last year. We thought we had that game won, and Matt Jones stole it from us at the end. Here's Green. Reggie Brown tries to get out of bounds, does not, and it's short of the first down, so the clock continues to run. See if Georgia wants a timeout. Yeah, they got all three, and they, they need to take one right here. Two timeouts remaining. Bulldogs trail by seven. Let's take a look at our Verizon Wireless top performance of the day. Tim Brando in New York and an NCAA individual record shattered today. Three punt returns returned by Antonio Perkins. 277 total return yards. That, too, an NCAA record. Now back to a great one on the bayou. Vernon and Todd. All right. Thank you, Tim. It is a great one here. Second down and three. Mark Rick and the Bulldogs trail by seven. And I think if you're LSU, you have to go after David Green. You've done it all game. Don't stop now. That ball has slipped, and it's a first down inside the 43-yard line. Ooh. Michael Cooper. Clock will stop as they reset the chains. David Green knows that. Gets him at the line, gets the play called. Again, who else would you want at the helm at this point in the game 
the number 14 in the red jersey. Boy, they are taking their time getting the chain set on the far side. They just do. Here's Green. Man for man. Oh, what a play. Picked off by LSU. Corey Webster saves the day. What a play. He reaches back and flips the ball back. This is their best cover corner. He was out of the game for a while with cramps. Now watch his reaction. Flips it with the one hand and keeps it in the field of play and makes the pick. He's played 17 games as a cornerback, and he's got 10 interceptions. That's a pretty good ratio. 10 tackles and an interception today. Came to LSU as a wide receiver and has become an outstanding cornerback. Matt Mark takes a knee. Georgia spends its next to last time out. So David Green, who had gone 167 passes without an interception, has been picked off twice this afternoon. Time call. Let's take a look at the play of the game presented by Wrangler five-star premium Denon with the call, Jim Hawthorne of LSU. Receiver pattern out of the shotgun. Here's Clayton in motion. Snap to Mark. Rolls to the near side. He's looking, and he throws it down deep, and there is Skyler Green. He's got it! Touchdown! He had reason to get oh, excited. man. <laughs> Mark takes a knee. Well, Nick Saban said he didn't want to place too much emphasis on this game. It was just a game. It was a big game, right. but it wasn't going to secure a spot in the SEC championship. Uh, just a personal note, Nick Saban started his career as a coach, a graduate assistant at his alma mater, Kent State, with Don James, 29 years ago today. I was lucky enough to do my first broadcast of a college football game for ABC. Kent State beat Ohio University 20 0, and Nick James was on the and Nick Saban was on the sideline mm. for Don James. He's aged better than I have. Yes. Oh, me too. You agreed too quickly. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Final timeout spent. And our player of the game, 24-year-old junior Matt Mock, 14 of 29, 180 yards. But he hit the big yeah. touchdown to Skylar Green. And, you know, you could equally make a case for the entire LSU defense in the game that they played today as being the collective players of the game because what a tremendous effort against an undermanned and yet still dangerous Georgia offense. David Pollock, Ben Wilkerson, Nick Saban, Mark Rick, Tyson Browning, 93-yard pass reception for the tying touchdown. But Devery Henderson set up the winning touchdown with a 48-yard kickoff return. And let's go down to Joe Arrington, who's with Nick Saban. Like the movie Sea Biscuit, it came down to the back stretch, that fourth quarter, eye to eye. What does it say about the heart of your team, this victory? Well, I'm proud of, 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 of our team, obviously, for the way we competed in the game. I mean, they come back 10 10 on a big play, and we go down and score a touchdown. And I, I, I don't know what else you can say about that. We got them stopped in two minutes. So I got to say something good about Georgia's players. They did a great job. I got to say something about our fans who did a fabulous job of making this a great place to play a football game. All right, the will to win, coach. Congratulations, Vern. Thank you, Jill. 92,251 watched this one in person. About 90,000 of them are going to go home happy. Final score, 17-10 from Death Valley.